Hey gang, today it is extra cozy in Florida. So we have made our way over here to Disney's Riviera Resort and that's cause they have a secret campfire with secret Mickey s'mores. So we had to hop over and try them out. So come along. It's based off our name. I don't get to come to Riviera Resort a lot, but I am so excited to be back here tonight. I think we're gonna grab some food before we go try out these delicious s'mores and then maybe even stay and watch some Epcot fireworks because they have an amazing rooftop view here. But I think the Riviera has a very magical night in store for us. In the lobby here, I am seeing La Boutique, and I think I see some first holiday gear. I guess these are the new ears for the season. I can't believe they're already out. You guys, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for all the Christmas, but apparently they are here right at the Riviera. And I said I was gonna stop looking at Christmas items, but look at this lounge fly. That is so cool, all the different characters. And one of the other things that I love about this resort is they have artwork absolutely everywhere, all spread throughout. If you see artwork that you like here, you can come right to this little kiosk and you can literally go to the Riviera Resort collection, Riviera Resort, and find all of their art that's in the walls, in the rooms, spread throughout the resort and you can order it, do different frames, have it sent to your house. I just think that that's such a fun, interactive thing. Just like this beautiful piece behind me, you could go in there and get it right in there, sent to your home. And it is a very, very unique experience to get art like this, as well as come to a fun little campfire. Most every single Disney resort has a campfire at the resort between six to seven. Of course they do roasting of marshmallows and you can make s'mores, which is a completely free event. But the Mickey s'mores, I do think it's like $7 to buy them with the sticks and the marshmallows, but I think it's gonna be worth it. But like I said, let's go grab a bite to eat first before we have our dessert. And right past the lobby, I just wanted to show you this Voyager's lounge really quick. It's really cool. It kind of looks like it would be like a bar, but it's kind of just like an area you can come and probably bring a coffee. They have even some old school little three little pigs here. And just like that picture I showed you in the beginning of Walt and Lillian and Mickey, I wonder if this is like the original Mickey from the photo here. I mean, it is behind locked glass. It does look very, very Walt's special. Hat. It looks too new to Yeah, me. I don't know if that's Walt's hat. It does look similar, but a little too new. And you can see all this stuff is kind of in French or Italian because we are in the Riviera and that's kind of what we are celebrating here. Let us hop in to Primo Piatto to grab a little bit of dinner. And I'm gonna be getting their gluten-free burger over here made with herb fries for $12.99. And Travis is getting one of his favorites from here. It's a spicy Italian sandwich with sliced capicola, salami, ham, provolone, and vegetable peppers for $11.79. And as you can see, I did get this mobile order, so it will come in a little cardboard box to go, but that's because you gotta come sit outside when it's feeling so cozy and you gotta be, of course, in your Arendelle cozy hoodie, right babe? I just got this from my friend Maria, so it was the perfect cozy night to wear it. And you can eat inside, you don't have to mobile order and they will bring the food to your table on a nice little plate, but I always love getting it to go and coming out here on the little terrace and you have to get these fries, the little herb fries. So let's start with them. The way that they're cut, they really do remind me of McDonald's fries, <laughs> but they taste so much more elevated, especially for just like walk-up fries. It's, mm. like fry. it's is a truffle fry, but in the best way. Oh my goodness. That is so, so good. And another great thing about Primo is they have tons of allergy friendly options, which is why I wanted to come check out their burger because for all their burgers and sandwiches, yes, they do have gluten-free buns. I was even able to request this burger without cheddar on it, but you know, I had to get it topped with a pickle still, but look at the presentation and look how thick that patty is. It's a big, thick Krabby Patty. You like Krabby Patties, don't you Squidward? Hopefully it tastes really good and doesn't make me crabby, so. 
Mmm. The juice. The juice. It has the juice. <laughs> and that is what I love about Primo, is this does not taste like a walk-up burger. This tastes like a fine dining, delicious, delicious piece of meat. But if you're not trying to be gluten-free, look at that delicious, what is that? Is that the focaccia bread? Oh, that looks incredible. You've gotten this before, right, Chad? Yeah, this one's just kind of like your spicy. They call it spicy, but to me, it's not really spicy. I guess if you're not used to spicy foods, it would be spicy. But yeah, it's just your classic Italian with your, you know, you got pepperoni, salami, classic. It's good though. It's got like a creamy garlic mayo on it. It's really good. Everything an Italian boy like yourself would like, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and like I said, the view is pretty much unbeatable with this a delicious, delicious food. On top of Travis spicy Italian, we think that there might have been a little more spiciness with some peppers on top. He's got a green one. I got a red one. So let's dink it and sink it. I feel like this, this is going to be really spicy. Nah. Okay. It smells pickled. It does smell pickled. Oh yeah, this is the thing I can't pronounce. G Gia Darnarian. Gidanarian. Gia Darna. You guys told me Wait, you, on one of the vlogs how thing? to pronounce it. I was going to bite the whole thing. I don't know about that. Okay, we'll do a bite. A good bite, though. D dink. I feel like it's going to be juicy. Sink. <laughs> yep. It's glued everywhere. You guys, it is like filled with seeds. Mmm. Yeah. I love it probably good on that but it is pickled it's not super spicy no i think that's good I don't, but i don't want to eat a bunch of seeds though <laughs> i was just about to say it is a lot of seeds it's gonna grow in your belly <laughs> well dining at primo piatta was definitely primo and now i'm ready to have some primo s'mores in my belly let's head to the campfire and check these buttes out and other than amazing campfires this is definitely one of the highlights over here at the riviera look at that sunset views overlooking the Skyliner. You can get directly on the Skyliner from this resort. So that also is a big plus to staying here. And we have found our campfire here and it is right by this beautiful view of the Skyliner, but they do have some campfire rules. So you gotta supervise the kids. Do not climb or sit on the fire pit. Do not throw anything into the fire and no running because you know, you'll poke an eye out, especially with your s'mores kit. This is the Mickey's s'mores kit. It's only $7, so not too bad. And it comes with, of course, the little Mickey graham cracker and some marshmallows. So let's let's get to roasting. Oh yeah, it's definitely getting real hot in there. The smell of the wood smells so amazing. We got our two sticks. We got to put some marshmallows on these. I love the bag too. It's like a beautiful, little iridescent bag and I'm gonna do two they said you could do up to two marshmallows on a stick we got one we got two now we need some flame I'm realizing these are like the complimentary marshmallows that you can get just for free the ones that come with the actual Mickey kit and your chocolates already inside with the graham cracker but this one's cool it's like a huge square marshmallow so we got to do this one the square one is definitely a little awkward to put on and they said this is a homemade marshmallow so that it's gonna melt really quick it's different than the like industrial ones I guess Yes, to be very fast. Yeah. How long do you think? Like 10 seconds? Um, just when they start to bend. Okay. Okay. The spinning help. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. I think it's extra gooey. It definitely is melting the little dark chocolate inside. They let us know it's a little dark chocolate bar instead of milk chocolate but I think it's gonna make it really decadent. And if you guys know about eating Mickey treats, you guys know, ears first always. Mm. <laughs> okay, the best thing about this s'more, it's like a cinnamon sugar s'more. So let alone it being Mickey shaped, having a homemade marshmallow with the dark chocolate, 
this is probably one of my new favorite Disney desserts. Where's yours, Travis? <laughs> this one's for me. All right, Trav's going in for a bite with your Mickey hat that you got at Fort Wilderness. It's very appropriate. It's very meta. You're in a Mickey hat, eating a Mickey. Oh no, what happened to his ears? Hmm? <laughs> Was it worth it? Yeah, it's good. It's like a cinnamon, like you said, almost like a churro. It's soft too. It's not, I thought it would maybe be a little bit harder than that for some reason. No, why, it's, it's actually soft. It's almost like gingerbread quality. And just so you know, the nice cast member did give us another one because we had this one, but the ear fell off. So you do only get one Mickey kit that bakes, basically makes an entire Mickey, but they're pretty big. And she did give us that whole other bag of marshmallows yeah, too. The other one. Yeah, do the do the industrial regular ones. <laughs> oh, Trav likes some chard. You're trying to char it up. Let's see your skills there. Oh yeah, you like them real burnt. Well, I guess that makes them extra mushy. You like them extra sloppy. I made them extra sloppy, Marius. I am still chowing down and I cannot stop talking about this homemade marshmallow. I would like a whole bag of them. I don't know if it's because it is square that it like makes it taste different. Like it had like a better like flavor being a different shape. I don't know how real that is, but it is so good. Not overly sweet. This is amazing. I wish I had 11,000 more of these. Trav just made another square one. Let's try it just by itself. Oh, you get them really toasty, Trav. Mmm. It's like a... Oh, yeah. Tastes very, very marshmallowy. E. Well, those s'mores were delicious. Now we need to burn up some of those calories, and luckily, they have some cornhole boards here. We can get our cornhole on. And these boards are pretty cool. They're all like free forms, 31 nights, Halloween. But hey, Halloween's over, you guys. It is definitely, definitely feeling like Christmas here. All right, let's see it, Trav. It feels like sand. It, it, the sandbag feels like sand. I guess it is supposed to be corn and not sand. That was pretty good. You almost got it right on the 31. That's good, too. Third time's a charm. All four on. Will he get all four on? Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what you got. I think we're supposed to go every other, right? We realized we were doing it wrong. You're supposed to go like every other, where I let Travis just like throw all four at first. So we're, we're playing right now. Trav is kicking my butt, which let, let me let you know, he usually does not kick my butt. I'm very good at cornhole. I what? usually do. I usually do. What's the score? 18-4. 18-4, so he's about to maybe win the game. Hopefully maybe. I can like stop him, but this is probably game point. Trav is the cornhole champion here at the Riviera. Leave a comment below, say go Travis, go. Go me, go. <laughs> and let alone multiple cornhole boards you can gallivant at. They even have some bocce balls over here. And look, a full sized bocce court. Full size, Travis. You want to get whooped in this too? No, I don't want to get whooped in this also. <laughs> I was thinking we should put the cornhole boards on this <laughs> long grass boccia strip and try to try to play here. And if you like more intellectual games, you can even come right over here and play a giant game of chess. And as you can see, we have made it to the Riviera Resort Beach. Yes, did you even know that they had a beach here? Oh, I see a shadow, Travis. <laughs> just like my beloved Polynesian. They also have a little beach here. I think you can see a little bit of the Epcot fireworks from right above the water here, but you can see the fireworks with an even better view at Topolina Terrace. They have a little lounge up there as well as a restaurant. So we can't decide if we should like stay here and hopefully we can see some Epcot fireworks or if we should try to go all the way up. I think we should try to go all the way up, right, Chad? All the Trav? way up. <laughs> Nothing can stop up. us. We're all the way up. <laughs>
have made it outside. <laughs> and this is the reason why you come all the way up to Topolina. Yeah, I think that has to be the magic fireworks. So that has to be Epcot right over there. I can literally see the World Showcase and the Swan and Dolphin. And look, right down there, that's where we were at on the little cornhole boards. It is so stunning up here and I can't wait to see these Epcot fireworks. You can just like feel the whole vibe, you guys. The lights, the breeze. It is pure magic up here. And just the music in the background playing all the Disney magic. You can see the guests inside enjoying the delicious Topolina restaurant and we are very much so enjoying the rooftop. And looking out over this side, I can see the other big pool with that huge tower water slide. Of course, and another amazing view. And you could even tell, look, they're watching the movie Under the Stars. I think they're watching Beauty and the Beast. Well, and there's not that many people even out there right now. But yeah, that's definitely Beauty and the Beast. It is firework time, and I wanna show you how I know that, you guys. Let me zoom in here. Do you see those little flames flickering? Those are the torches inside of Epcot in the World Showcase that turn on. <gasps> All right, here we go.
Well, that wasn't good at all. And of course, by me saying it wasn't good at all means that I love it because I was getting teary-eyed. I really have always loved all the Epcot fireworks from Illuminations to Epcot Forever to Harmonious. And then there is a new one coming called Luminous and I cannot wait to see it. And I especially can't wait to see it from up there on that Topolina rooftop. Do not miss out if you were at the Riviera here to go up there and hang out for a bit and definitely dine there as well. The food is so good. Actually, all the food that we had here tonight was amazing. I can't wait to stay here one day. I've never got to stay here, so hopefully one day. But for now, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. And as always, peace, love, and positivity, and all the good things. Love you guys. Bye.